Hi, I'm Gordon Flowers. Evening, ma'am. Evening. How can I help you? Well, you can start by accepting my apologies regarding the hour. Uh, I hope I didn't catch you at dinner. No, it's fine. Oh, good. Yours was the last house on my list. Uh, today I've been walking in between farms all day in the hot sun, and uh, I thought I'd take you off my list so I didn't have to come back tomorrow. What's this about? You're alone here, ma'am? Um, yes. My husband will be home from the city any moment. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, could I trouble you for a glass of water? Of course. I'll get you some. You can take the glass with you. Oh, actually, ma'am, uh, my business tonight, my taking you off the list, is going to require me to come in. Is that all right? Uh, will you tell me what this is about? Oh, I will, ma'am. Uh, if I can come in. Ma'am. Oh, yeah. Evening, ma'am. Evening. How can e I help you? Uh, all right. You can start by accepting my most sincere apologies regarding the hour. I hope I didn't disturb you during dinner. No, that's fine. Oh, good. Uh, your house was the last house on my list, and uh, I've been going in and out and in between farmhouses all day in the hot sun. And uh, I figured I could tick you off my list now, so I wouldn't have to come back and tick you off then. What's this about? Oh. I'm sorry, ma'am. Are, are you alone here? My what? husband will be back any time now from the city. Oh, oh that's good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that, ma'am. Um, would you happen to have a glass of water? I, I got a thirst I can't quench. Of course. I'll get some. You can take the glass with you. Uh, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> I understand that, ma'am. Um, but my business, my ticking you off the list business is going to require me to come inside. Do you mind if I come inside? Will you tell me what this is about? Yes, ma'am. Of course I will. I promise I'll tell you, ma'am, um, if you allow me to come inside. Ma'am? And finally, remember, you're in charge. If she's short on funds, you can show her who's boss by vigorously shaking your finger in her face and saying, you cocksucking whore. Say it with me now. You, you cock-sucking whore. whore! And you can elaborate with, Where's my money at, you cock-sucking whore? Say it with me. Where's, Where's my, my money, money at, you cock-sucking whore? whore? Follow these dope instructions, wear the totally fly suit that came with the course, and you'll strike fear into the hearts of men, and desire in the hearts of your bitches. Oh, yeah. And remember, if you're questioned by the police, don't tell them that you're a pimp. Tell them that you're a talent agent. That's genius. All right, Tom, you should have taken that management job at Burger King. Tom, you're going to fuck everything up. Well, they'll see when I'm super rich. Hey, where's my money at, you cocksucking whore? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sweetie. No, no, that was my... F uh, is your mommy there? Yeah, hello? Oh, look, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, it's Tom. Yeah, we met the other day. I was with Slick Rick. I'm taking over for him. I'm the new pimp. Yeah. Well, if it doesn't look stupid. I got it off eBay. I look like Snoop Dogg. Well, you know what? That's beside the point. Uh, where's my money at, you cocksucking... Hello? Who's this? Hus husband? Well... No, I, I didn't call your daughter a slut. I called your wife a whore. Hey, man, screw you, man. That's not my business. All I know is she owes me money. Hey, man, you need to take that up with your wife. Uh, hello? God. Oh, hey, sweetie. How are you? No, no, listen. I'm sure it's not a problem. It's not like they're going to get a divorce or anything. Your daddy just slapped your mommy? Well, that's probably out of love. No, listen. Uh, wait, what's that? 
Your mommy just stabbed your daddy. Uh, okay, um, oh, she just did it again. All right, well, you've been pumped. This is a prank call. If you're listening to this portion of the tape, you fucked up. By the way, these course materials and that stupid outfit you're wearing were made during the Carter administration. And I'd reconsidered the Burger King job. Dumbass. Marie? Marie, are you, you sleeping? Good. Uh, you look so beautiful and peaceful lying there. You almost look dead. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm glad because <laughs> there's always been something I've been wanting to say to you, but it's always been difficult for me. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. I've never felt relaxed around anyone enough to, to be able to say that before. <laughs> you give me confidence in myself. I know we've only been seeing each other for four weeks and three days, but to me it seems more like nine weeks and five days. <laughs> the first day seemed like a week. And the second day seemed like five days, and the third day seemed like a week again. <laughs> and the fourth day seemed like eight days. And the fifth day, well, you went to see your mother, and that just seemed like a day. <laughs> but later that evening, you came back, and when we saw each other that night, that seemed like two days. And those two days spilled over in, into the sixth day early, which made it seem like two days. And those two days from that sixth day that went into the evening that we spent seemed like an extra four days. And the, the day after, which was from the day before, that went into early in the evening, if you counted those together, was a total of seven days, which is a week. And, and on the, the seventh day, seemed like a week and a half. I've got all this written down somewhere. Well, I'll show it to you tomorrow if you want to see it. But, uh, well, I've decided uh, when the time is right, tomorrow, I'm going to ask you if you'll marry me. And if that's okay with you, I want you to just lie there and not say anything. <laughs> You've made me very happy. <laughs> I was an oddball. And uh, <laughs> that got me to where I am today. Which is nowhere. Yes! That's it, definitely! Sir, you've been a big help. An officer will be right in. Alright, thank you.